Welcome back to Just Scribble. As you guys know, I have been working on my studio remodel that hopefully will be done by the end of this year because it's taking forever because I have to do it between work and YouTube and mom life and all of the things. And during that process, I have been sorting things for D-Stash. I have been emptying boxes that I had put old subscription kits in. And I also moved some boxes that I hadn't opened yet and kind of put them aside. And I don't know about you guys, but when things are out of sight, they are out of my mind. And when my August sub box from the stationery selection came this week, I realized that I had not shared my April, May, June, or July subscription boxes with you guys. So now I have five. I have April through August that we have not checked out together. And so I wanted to share the contents with you guys, but I'm going to do it a little bit different, partly because I have five months worth of boxes here and partly because I want to do this video and then I want to do a separate sort of spin-off video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up each box and just quickly show you what came in the box without a lot of the details. I will put details in the description box down below that gives you some information about the products that I'm sharing. But basically I'm just going to show you what's in the box real quick. I'm going to tell you guys what my favorite item from that box is. And then I'm going to take the things out that we're going to use in the sort of part two spinoff video and we're going to put them in a separate box so that I can use those in that video. The second part two spinoff video is going to be a journal with me kind of video. I'm not actually going to journal my words because that's very private, but we're going to set up a new journal using things from my sub boxes. So we're going to use some items from the sub boxes to set up that new journal. We'll talk a little bit about paper paralysis, how I get over that, things like that. But first, oh, we are going to open up these boxes. So we are going to start with April. And we're just going to real quickly go through each one. I'm going to show you what I got what we're keeping for the part two video and what my favorite item is. So this is the April box. This is the sheet that came with it that talks about the items that we got in the box. So we did get an eraser, which I'm very excited about, refills for the eraser, a mechanical pencil, a letter opener that looks like a bird, some clips. I have a bunch of these clips and I love them and I use them all the time. So always good. And then we got this adorable pouch. So I'm actually going to open this up because this is my favorite item from this box. So this little pouch is made of a paper that's been treated, it has beautiful fluorescent flowers on it. It is lined with fabric and it's just an open pouch. So you can use this as a planner pouch or for anything else that you would like to use it for. And I think it is absolutely adorable. I just love the bright colors, the fluorescent, the flowers, everything about it. So this is my favorite item from the April sub box. And items that we're going to keep for the journaling setup are these clips. So I have this empty box and I'm just sticking the items that we're going to use in the sort of spin-off video there. And I'm going to close this one up and we're going to move to May. So here is the May box. I really like sharing these with you guys because there's a lot of really neat products that we get in them, but I wanted to try something new. So we're gonna try this format and see what you think. So here is the sheet for May, and there are the items that we got. So we got these emote pencils. So I've gotten pens from them or like markers from them before. These are actually mechanical pencils with colored lead refills, and we got the refills with it. We got a custom stamp designed by Mitts and ink. We got a set of monochrome stickers. We got a sign pen from Yumi. And then we got a notebook. So we'll check this out real fast. So 
So this is the notebook with these beautiful sketches on it. So I think my favorite thing out of this box is this notebook just because it is super unique and I could see this as being a really cool sketchbook where you started with what was there and you added to it and you added some mixed media or just some marker and pen drawings and you turned this into a unique creation of your own. I also like that it is size wide or A5 slim because I do have a cover from Sojourner in that size and I don't have a lot of notebooks to use in it. So it gives me one more notebook option for that. So this notebook is my favorite item from the May set box, but we are going to keep the sign pen, the monochrome stickers, the stamp and stamp pad, and the emote colored pencils from this box for our spinoff video. So the only thing going back in this box is the notebook because I will use that at a later date. Next, we have June. So this is the paper from the June box, the listing of the items that we got in this box. So we got this set of Le Pen Extra Fine Tip pens in these beautiful colors. We got this Diamond Memo from Midori, little spiral notebook. We got these page flags. We got this unique bookmark. It allows you to adjust the length. You can use it in any size book or planner. We got a set of sticky notes with little cats on them. We got an MT washi tape, my favorite brand of washi tape. And then we got a corner rounder punch that is supposed to do four to five sheets of paper at one time. So my favorite item from this box is actually the corner rounder. I use my corner rounders a lot and I like the fact that this has a really cool handle on it that should make it easier to use than some of my other ones. And I like the fact that I can do more pages at one time. So that is my favorite item. And we are going to stick the washi tape and the Le Pens in our box for the second video. I'm going to put all this stuff back and then move to July. So here is the July box. And here is the list of items that we got in this box. So we got some die cut seals or stickers. We got this really unique add-on that can work with the notebook, the Diamond Midori notebook that we got in the June box, or you can use it in other spiral notebooks. We got this letterpress paper set. It's like little note cards. We got a multi-pen. It has blue, red, and black ink. We got this stapler with hot pink staples to go in it. And then we got a Midori letter set. So it has these pages in it that you can use as a notepad or you can tear them out and write letters. And it has a pencil board that comes out that you can use when you're writing in it too. So my favorite item from this box is the stapler and the hot pink staples. It is so cute. It's metal and it actually has a really nice weight to it. And I like that it has this sort of plier style and I think it'll be a really good addition to my planner supplies. So the stapler is my favorite thing from the July box. And we are going to put the letterpress note cards and these die cut seals in the box for the second follow-up video. So that's the July box. 
always get so much value with Mitz's sub boxes and it's so much fun. It's like getting a birthday present every month or every two months because mine ship two at a time. So I get my package every other month and it has two sub boxes in it. I actually ordered something from her shop. If you do that, she'll combine it with your box. So that's why I only have five boxes here because I had a shop order that shipped with one of my boxes. So that's why I have five, not six. But I just really love these. They're so much fun to open. This is our August box. So these are the items that we got in our August box. So we got this really cute little notebook holder. Let's take this part out. So you could use this to hold pens. You could use it as an art thing to hold a watercolor palette. You could use it to hold your planner or your notebook. We got this glue stick that looks like chapstick. We got a 2B Helix pencil. We got these masking seals. We got a set of keto washi tape. You guys know I love my keto washi tapes. Let's put that aside. We got a Mount Fuji eraser. So these erasers turn into a mountain shape as you use them. We got this set of tracing paper. It's a beautiful design on it. And we got a Sarasa Nano pen. I actually don't have this Sarasa pen, so I'm excited for that. Oh, what is my favorite thing from this box? That's kind of hard. Probably this pouch. I am a sucker for pouches. I really like the shape of this. I like the design. It reminds me of like a life notebook or an Apica notebook. It has this nice pocket in the back and I think it would be really fun to store like my art things in it when I'm traveling, even to use when traveling for like your passport and your plane tickets and all that kind of stuff. So I think this is my favorite item from this box, but I like a lot of things in this box. So we are going to set in our little box for the video number two. We're going to set the tracing paper, the Sarasa pen, the Kita washi strips, and the masking points. Then put the eraser, the glue stick, and the pencil back in here. So those are the last five sub boxes from the stationery selection. I know this was a little bit of a different unboxing since I didn't go into a lot of detail about each product. But like I said, I will list in the description box the items that were included in each box. So you kind of have an idea of what you get in each of your subscription boxes. But I thought this would be a nice way for me to just share with you guys what you get in your sub boxes from the stationery selection, kind of the variety of things that you could get in any given sub box, what my favorite items were out of each individual sub box, and also collect items that we're gonna use in a follow-up video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the secondary video where we are going to set up my journal with the items that I got in my sub box, plus the other videos that I have coming in between. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this share of my April, May, June, July, and August 2022 stationary selection sub boxes. Give me a comment down below on what your favorite item was from each of these sub boxes. And don't forget to just scribble.